All right, what's good, YouTube? It's been a minute, but we officially got 70% of the animal set up over here. We got two different rooms right now between some of the adult snakes that we breed. So me and my wife are gonna show you both rooms as well as show you a few of our favorite animals. Let's get it. All right, so this is the first room. Now this is gonna be the ball python room. We got uh, the ARS 7030 series tubs right there. Those are sub adults. We got another um, AR 7030 coming. It's gonna take up this whole space here. And then I'm not sure that wall is either gonna be a hatchling rack or another sub adult rack. But we had this room done, the floor put in, as well as we went with a ceiling fan. But I might have to change that just to get more lighting in here. The lighting for me is good, but probably not the best for um, videos or pictures and stuff like that. So, I'm going to let my wife show off a few of her favorites right now, and then I'm going to show off some of mine. Which one are you going to start with? The candy. The black That's a big one. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and these are starting to breed now, too, so. Real quick. Not to bother them too much. Yeah. This is uh, really large. I think she's about over 3,000 grams black pastel candy. All right, so what's the next one? My favorite one is the Paradox. So this is a Paradox. Half of them is coral gold black pastel, and the other is exantic black pastel. This this male actually started a clutch for me this season. I have about five clutches that hatched that I never got to do cutting videos of. So I gotta show the babies that he produced this year. I bred him to an exantic clown. All right, so I'll show up some of my favorites now as well. All right, so some of my favorites are already breeding, so I can't really take some of them out. I'll give you an idea with this girl right here. Candino Black Pastel. Breeding to an albino clown right now. So that's definitely a favorite. And I'll take a few out as well, just to show you real quick. All right, so right here, we have a VPI Exantic Clown. About a 3,000 gram girl, she's really big. Let's see. Really nice, still held on so it's great pretty well. And that's my daughter right there. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'll take one more girl out from here and then we'll go into the, the next snake room. All right, so the next one's nothing too, too special, but hmm. here's our 4,500. It's a 5,000 gram clown. And I know she's, I haven't weighed her in a while, but I know she's that big because she's bigger than all a 4,300 gram animal I have. So she's gotta be at least 4,500 grams. If not closer to 5,000 grams. That's a big, big ball python. Big clown. You get the idea of a size. See if this girl produces a large, healthy clutch this year or well, next year. Start breeding her now. You got the whole snake in the shot? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Alright, so we'll get on to the next room. Alright, so here's the next room. Yes! 
This is gonna be the blood pythons and short tail pythons. Same thing, a ceiling fan, keep that air circulation. I got this rack, another adult rack coming that's gonna go right over here. And I'm gonna get rid of that rack right there. It's a sub adult rack. This is where I keep um, sub adult females and the adult males. All that's adult female blood pythons. Getting ready to breed it. Probably gonna start pairing them in a week or so. So which ones you wanna start with? There we go. Yeah, so this is a T plus albino golden eye ivory. Ivory's the super matrix. So definitely a powerhouse animal. Next fall she'll be breeding. Yeah, that's a snake. So that's a Sumatran short tail python. Not a morph. That's just how dark they get when you line breathe them. What she's got orange eyes, right? Yes. Let me see. There we go. Look at those eyes. That's the perfect short tail to start with. All right, so I'll show a few of my favorites right now. You pull her out. You're all right. That's a magpie matrix. So she's a super golden eye matrix. She doesn't really like being handled too much. Pretty good animal, but she's uh, very flighty and vocal. As you can see, she's just trying to get away. Mm -hmm. This is a proven breeder. She gave me a clutch this past season. Let's see if you can get a focus on her head. She won't stop moving. Yeah, she won't stay still. <laughs> there we go. All right, so here's another one. It's not too crazy about being handled, but she's a little better than another girl. Let's see if we can get a full shot of her. So this one I'm just calling a high white T-neg albino. She's got a ton of whites in her. Let's see. There we go. Yeah, she's always been pretty unique. Oh, you're all right. I got her. Yeah, as you can see, both these girls, they're not too crazy about being picked up, but they're good animals. This girl actually will hold on, which is something blood pythons usually don't do. You see, she starts feeling so uncomfortable that she actually starts to wrap. Just to hold herself up. Well, I'm really hoping this girl um, gives me a clutch. See if uh, we can prove her out for anything. If she has anything hidden going on. See all that color she has, oranges, yellows, whites, reds. I mean, she looks, she reminds me of uh, albino Burmese pythons when they're born. And that. Uh, you're right. There she goes. No, you ain't gonna hold this one. Real nice animal. Crazy nice. I mean, imagine if you had that much red in a ball python. <laughs> None of this browns and oranges being called red, but actual red.
dying to get put down. Mm -hmm. So we got one last one to throw off. Can I pick it up? No, this one you cannot pick up. Why? All right, so here's our adult male T-neg or vinyl batik. I produced this male back in 2019. I think he might've been the first one ever produced. You no, know, my buddy Jason Chap Chapman produced um, the stripe versions, so he produced genetic stripe, T-neg, albino batics. I think that same year, I can't remember for sure. I know the year, the previous year, I did produce a T-neg, the first T-neg albino batrix, which is just this with um, the matrix. It's a lot more crazy looking. And I thought that was originally the first, um, T-neck albino bat tick, but after producing this one the following year and comparing the two, there's a big difference when you compare on um, this one to the the one that has the matrix gene in it. But this guy getting him ready to breed. I got two females lined up for him this year. All right, so that's all we got for y'all. Y'all already know what it is. Hate, comment, subscribe. Till next time. Later.